Well, I'm really excited to be back at Cal. Obviously, uh, I went to school here. I grew up here in Berkeley, and uh, you know, it's, it's the best public school in the world, and it has the best student body in the world, <laughs> and uh, it's got you know some of the best rowing facilities in the world. Brioni's in the Oakland Estuary, or, or you know, Brioni's is perfect water on the estuary. You can row as far as you want. It's got the best facilities on campus in America. Um, so I'm excited to get to work. I think the atmosphere of the team right now is great and I'd love to keep that going. Um, I think the, the students seem really engaged with the university and with the community and I'd love to, and, that, and, and more engaged than when I was here. So um, I think when I was here, uh, people worked hard and they worked hard in the classroom, they worked hard on the water, so I think that's a, that's a tradition that I'd love to, to carry on. Well, the first priority of the Cal Crew program that was uh, made very clear by the, the students and the alums that I met with during the interview process is to continue to foster a strong team culture. Um, and then, you know, of course, on top of that is to win a national championship. Um, those, were the, those were two very clear goals. Um, and aside from that, to try to carry all that over into the classroom and, and uh, be the best students that we can be. Cal Women's Crew stands for a lot of things. It stands for, you know, being a team that everybody wants to cheer for. It stands for um, a big part of rowing history for collegiate women. It stands for a lot of tradition. It stands for, um, you know, excellence all around. Uh, we'll build on the legacy with a lot of help from a lot of people. Um, namely, Sarah Puttycomb and Vanessa Tavalero, the two assistant coaches. Uh, I feel really fortunate to, to be able to retain them on the staff and of course you know stepping into a program where the where the team is already established and has been so successful that's going to help continue the legacy and then the alums have been great during the interview process they made it clear what their concerns were and uh, I'm looking forward to working with uh, Mike Tatey and Scott Franson as well I imagine they'd be willing to help out so um, it's a huge task but we're looking forward to getting to work.